Hey folks, today we're going to be doing a review on the Aspire BDC dual coil. It's actually, its formal name is the CE5S. The CE5S does have a dual coil, it's a bottom coil, and it does have a detachable drip tip, even though it looks like the old fashioned Stardust CE4. Okay, let me just go ahead and give a quick look at the head. Um, it's obviously got juice in it, so you basically just unscrew the head there to change it out. Uh, now I know what a lot of people are asking right up front. They're asking, well, can you rebuild the head? No, you can't rebuild the head in these. Um, the thing is, is that with this, it vapes so well and so consistent that who cares if you got to put a head in it every now and again. So it's one of those things where basically you can choose if you want zero gurgle, zero leaking, uh, you want good flavor, you want good vapor production, then you can go ahead and go with this one. If you want something that you've got to fiddle with, obviously everybody knows there's a lot more choices out there, okay? So here it is. It's on an adjustable Ego type battery and it is right at about 4 volts. The resistance of the coil is 1.8 ohms, okay? flavors bang on every time basically it's just like any other coil you know they get gunked up and they basically just start to lose vapor production they start to lose flavor then you know it's time to actually put a new coil in okay so it's real simple real easy um, this in my opinion um, aspire in, in a, as a whole is really um, doing good things for the vaping community um, in my opinion they are leading the charge um, with things like the Nautilus everybody loves the Nautilus they got that new mini with the with the upright coil the single coil and so you know that it's just one good thing after another um, the Aspire dual coil the BDC has actually been around for a while. They had the T2, they had, um, then they went up to this one, which is just quite a bit uh, better because you have the PET plastic window in there, um, and that basically means that it won't crack with certain juices, which is another plus. I don't know why every single tank that anybody ever comes out with isn't made with at least that. Um, and then also they do have some that are glass or Pyrex so you know that's just that um, you can decide if you want to take a what $20 battery or so and stick a $30 tank on there um, that's completely up to you uh, but with me this thing here for right about 10 bucks is just a steal it is a bargain it is what we've always wanted in the vaping world and I couldn't be more happy with it. Uh, it would be a little bit nicer if you could rebuild the coil. And maybe there's some people out there that can. But why mess with perfection? Okay, so now I guess basically I've expressed that I'm really partial to the Aspire CE5S. And for that, um, it should speak for itself. Um, if you want to mess around with other stuff, then mess around with other stuff. But if you want something that you can count on then these are just amazing and they, they really can't be beat in my opinion I'm sure they're always coming out with new stuff they're always coming out with better stuff you know um, but for the dollar you know you just really can't beat it and so I've, I've been happy with these for this from the very beginning I have had a couple coils that just didn't seem right out of the box you know that's that's actually gonna be normal in the vaping world um, there's a lot of things out there that are hit and miss. Not everything is made exactly the same every every time. So, you know, sometimes people make mistakes when they're putting stuff together. 
you know, if you do get a bad coil, take it out and put another one in, you know, it's not the biggest thing in the world, so, anyway, so, like, as far as, like, the pros go with this, I know I'm saying like a lot, I'm sorry, I'm just really, really rusty, I haven't done a review video in a long time, but, anyways, the pros on this, the flavor, the vapor production, the longevity of the head, tanks, they don't crack with certain juices, the um, metal around the the window, basically the metal housing or tank part um, is fairly decent. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the pros go. The cons, um, this one has been beat up um, and I do notice a hairline crack forming up here on the top but it hasn't affected the way that it vapes. I'm not getting any flooding due to air being introduced into the tank where it's not supposed to be. So that's another good thing. Um, but, so you know, just 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 know this, that it's not everything is perfect, basically. Um, another con is, is that you can't really rebuild the coils in here. Um, and then when you actually refill it, the tube only goes up to about right here. So if that tube was able to have been higher, which it really can't, um, it, it would take a freaking mad scientist to figure that one out. But um, if you could, it would, you know, be able to have that extra room there to be able to put more juice in there. Then it would obviously last longer. Now, whenever I was vaping this every single day, because when I first got it for about three months, you couldn't get it out of my hands because I just loved it. I was working. I used a lanyard with an Ego battery and it just can't be beat. Okay. Never broke my lanyard. Never really like got left hanging high and dry. If these things are starting to go out and you can st just like anything else, you can still use it for a while and basically just kind of like limp your way through the day. And then when you get home, put another coil in there. So as far as that goes, when the coil was going out, it wasn't actually like leaking a bunch of juice out or anything like that. Now there have been some reports to me about maybe a few of them actually leaking, um, but basically I would say probably 98% of the coils that you'll ever put in there don't actually have any leaking problems at all. Okay, um, I can go ahead and unscrew this and look at my battery connection, and my battery connection is just as dry as the day this battery was lifted from the assembly line. So there is no condensation coming down in there. The good thing about being able to remove this drip tip is when you do get condensation in your mouth then you can rinse this under the faucet so that's really good. It's got kind of like a bowl section there so that you can actually use a q-tip get down in there and clean that thing out. Okay. So if you do get gurgling one thing also that I noticed which is kind of a con is that when it actually gets down to about the top of the coil or the head inside the tank then sometimes it could gurgle. If it gurgles and you keep using it over and over again you will get some condensation or some juice going down into the battery connection so basically when it first starts to gurgle go ahead and put some more juice in there so that that is a potential problem so you get some gurgling with this it's pretty much been the tall tale sign that hey it's time to fill this thing back up so you can't really basically vape it until every drop of liquid is gone from the tank so that's going to do it that's pretty much it I mean what else can you say the the Spire BDC head is a wonderful head and like I said it's been around a while it's definitely proven by now and I, I love it and so that's going to do it. Thanks a lot for watching.